Hi, what's up, you guys? This is your girl, Soul with Bit Bread, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So, today we are going to learn the bubble skirt pattern making and sewing. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you guys how to draft flat patterns for the bubble skirt and few sewing techniques to achieve it. Anyway, to learn the pattern making and as well for the mock up and test towards the end, make it sure to continue watching this tutorial to see the full creative process. For the bubble skirt, we are going to start by drafting our lining. The lining will be shorter than the base but I will explain it later once we are done drafting our 1 4 circle skirt or the lining. By the way, I have a separate tutorial for the 1 4 circle skirt on my YouTube channel. All of the formula is there and I will link down below the video to those who are new to my channel. For the 1 4 circle skirt, we will start drafting the ridges from the tip of our paper. The ridges that I got from my dress form waist measurement is 15 5 8 and this will be my ridges measurement. Starting from the tip of my paper, I will mark out 15 5 8 inches and gradually creating a curved cone shape. Like this one. Once we are finished marking the ridges, we can now proceed to the skirt length. So this lining will be shorter than the base. I am going to mark down 18 4 8 inches plus an addition of 4 8 inch, a total of 19 inches from the waist ranges. And here you go. Now I have my 1 4 circle skirt or my lining and next I will work on the self or the base of the skirt. For the base, I will be doing a full circle skirt. Again, my dress form's full waist is 24 4 8 and I'm going to use that measurement for my full circle skirt formula. Just like the one fourth circle skirt pattern, I'm going to start drafting the ridges from the tip of my paper, making a curved cone shape. Next is the skirt length for my full circle skirt. From the waist ranges of my patterns, I will now mark down the skirt length. For this one, I will be using a longer skirt length than my lining skirt length. Usually, the base of the bubble skirt is longer than the lining by probably 5 to 6 inches. So, 19 inches is the skirt length of my lining plus 6 inches so I got 25 inches for the skirt length of the base. For this full circle skirt, I chose to make two separate patterns with side seams. This is the perfect option if you cannot properly fold your fabric into four and at the same time, it also gives a clean finish to the skirt. You can also put pockets on the side if you want to. So here are my complete patterns, the one for circle skirt or the lining and the full circle skirt or the base. So the question is, how do I make these into a bubble skirt? First step, place your lining pattern on the bias of your fabric. Cut it all through and put this aside. We will work on this later. Next is the full circle skirt or the base. Place both patterns on the bias. Don't forget that the other pattern is on fold and the other pattern has seam or sewing allowances. It's crucial to place both patterns on the bias, y'all. And of course, cut it all through. Now that we have finished cutting, the next step is sewing. Since I chose a full circle skirt with side seams, I will connect them both first. And by the way, I've sewn the edges of my sewing allowances to avoid fraying. Moving on, using your shearing foot, gather the hem of the full circle skirt or the base. And if you don't have the shearing foot like I do, simply put your stitch length at number 4 or 5, whichever biggest stitch length you can get from your sewing machine, and sew the hem of the skirt by 2 eighths or 3 eighths of an inch. Thank you. 
When you're done, we can now manually gather the hem of the full circle skirt. To those who have a shearing foot at home, lucky you. So when you're done gathering the hem, put the skirt aside and get your lining skirt and we will measure the hem circumference. Once you've got the hem circumference of your lining, next, match it to the hem circumference of the base and pin everything in place. Y'all think this is easy but it wasn't. The whole pinning process gave few degrees to my scoliosis and I am not kidding. So now that I have matched the gathered hem of my base to my lining, I am ready to sew this. As you guys can see, I've chosen the lining side instead of the gathered side to check if there will be puckering on my lining. We want to avoid that. Sewing a bias sometimes is a pain in the butt, but when you have the right control to your fabric, everything will be fabulous. As you guys can see, I have attached now both lining and base hems and it looks like a donut. <laughs> I know, right? Now I'm just connecting the lining and the base waist together. Et voila! Here is the mock-up for my bubble skirt. I love the volume of the skirt, y'all. And if you guys can see, I have achieved the bubble hem by combining two circle skirts together. And gosh, it looks amazing, isn't it? It's like a Christian Lacroix skirt. I must say, I am satisfied with this one, and I hope you are too. Anyway, you guys, I hope this tutorial will help you for your upcoming projects and I hope you love it as much as I do. And I promise I'll be posting more tutorials like this. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and make it sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sew It With Brit, and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A plus tard!